What is going on, everybody? We're back, and today we're playing some more Madden 22 online head to head. Today we are going to be using the Chicago Bears because, ladies and gentlemen, there is new news with them. The Chicago Bears have traded the best player on their team right there at number one, Khalil Mack, to the LA Chargers. Get this, get this, for a second round pick and a sixth round pick. Okay, the Chargers literally got a steal. The AFC West is fucking loaded. In the span of three days, they, the Broncos got Russell Wilson and the Chargers got Khalil Mack. The AFC West is literally the best division in football, hands down now. It is obviously a clear W for the fucking LA Chargers. Oh, we're facing the Titans. It is a clear W for the Chargers. They got a huge steal. They only had to give up a second and a sixth for Khalil Mack. That is fucking crazy. He's literally the best player, or was the best player on the Bears. Holy crap. And now they're teaming him up with Joey Bosa in LA. They have a big three in LA with Joey Bosa. Uh, Derwin James, and now Khalil Mack. That is fucking crazy. So let's play Khalil Mack's final game in Chicago. Here we go. Oh, bro, that is just absolutely fucking crazy I can't believe I don't know what the Bears are doing though either that was an awful move by new general manager Ryan Poles the fact that you only got a sixth and a second he calls a timeout the fact that you only got that for one of the best edge rushers in the game right now. Where is he? Well, let's let's use him. Let's use him. Oh, speaking of the Titans, they uh they also released uh their Pro Bowl left guard Roger Saffold today. That's another thing that happened. Cover one hole. Cover two, man. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. Ah. Jones goes diving Damn and he's got it. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the cover on Thief Show too. Come on, Khalil. Cover two, man. Oh my god. Cover one, Robert. I don't know if I can be clear. Absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, that should open up his running. Cover game. six. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. A toss left. Henry. Nice. And this time they were ready for Robert him. Quinn. Right at the line of scrimmage. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They moved it well, but here's third down. He's going deep for Brown. Pick it on. Unable to connect. Incomplete. They give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. One Sam safety blitz. They had exactly what you want. Anytime they want to throw the football, there was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced 
the incompletion. Oh my god. Cover three cloud show too. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and ten. Back to the ground now. It's Henry. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a game of six. A quick burst there. Cover two men. A pretty decent game. The last run got six. Now second and four. They'll toss it to Henry. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop it behind the line. Call that Cover six. Yard and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, but I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. Nice. A loss results there. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Nickel blitz one. Oh, come on! Cover one robber. That's the end of the first quarter. Second quarter now. Titans in possession of the football. No score after one. Cover one robber. Cover six press. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. They'll give Henry another shot. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type Cover of six press and ultimately kick a field goal will feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Now Tannehill on third and goal. Yep. This is going to be intercepted. Take it back. Oh, damn it. Across midfield to the 46 yard line. I tell you what, credit is due there on them preventing the touchdown after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what okay. happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that off and gave great chase and got it done. Let's go, Bears. Return, a very good field position. HB misdirection. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know I'm high on believing. No mm -hmm. Nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Here we go. Here we go. Second Fields. Seven. Look at Jimmy Graham. Now a run with Montgomery. Holy he fuck! In his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. HB slip screen. Backwards a yard. That was well played. Defensively, two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And he gets this inside. Tariq Cohen. So Charles, first drive here, little safety HB stretch. underneath, maybe get some rhythm, get your feet away, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Why shallow last two minute warning? Two 
Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. Come on. Double slants. Here we go. Halftime will take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half. One that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. A Rob, my guy. PA crossers. Your job as a defensive back. Make sure you stay as deep as the deepest receiver and not let anyone leak behind you for a big play. I might be able to hit A Rob here. And not letting them connect on that pass. He'll buy some time right. Ah. He is out of bounds inside yeah. the 30. All right, I'll take a 45-yard field goal. Three, but that's not I thought I could fake him, but oh fuck. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. That might not be good, and it's and he it. okay. It's no good, and this will remain a scoreless game. Okay, cool. Everything looked good. Good snap. Good hold. Sometimes though, the ball just doesn't want to go Cover where you want it. And this one winds up no good. The Titans offense set to begin Cute. the drive. Well, they were intercepted. Well, looks like we can't kick a field goal. goal. Now they get it back and it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. How? Because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really Cover happen because they gave up no point. So go back on the attack. Come on, Cleo. You believe will be successful? See, the thing is, I think Joey and Khalil play on the same side. So that's going to be interesting on um, who's going to switch sides. Cover one hole. I would say Khalil probably switches sides. He's wide. How do you let that happen? Cut 60 pinch. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. They'll try to run this one in. Oh my come on. This one in for a Titans touchdown. Derek Henry taking it in from a yard out. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this 60. afternoon. Let's go. Yeah, he doesn't know how to kick either. Ah, so oh, return middle. I'm high on believing. Okay. Come on, bears. Come on. Oh, we're only using the Bears in this video as well because obviously the Chargers didn't give up anything. Thank you. PA crossers. The Bears in good field position to start out first and ten at the 41 yard line. One play action, Fields sliding out of the pocket. Man up it is Robinson. And they do finally get him at the 12. Get him out. Now the Bears going to call the first of their Allen Allen Robinson. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On the slip screen. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. 
They'll contain him to just four. Mm. Second down. Boy, that mm. was certainly well read defensively. And to get any screenplay is space to work. Mm. I'm under strong curl. Six yards left on second down. Back to throw. Fields rolling to his right. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring Fucking I tried to do something there. Well, he strung it out as far as he could, and I like the fact that he Seam got divide. Field, but he finally ran out of time and room. But I'll take that over forcing it downfield and possibly having it intercepted. Throwing on third down. Fields buying time to his left. This is caught. How's that not a touchdown? He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their uh, timeouts. As they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go. MTN inside cross. <laughs> so it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Now Fields. And down he goes. Pressure I have no time. Back at the yeah. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. As they'll stop it with 14 seconds mm. to go in this first half. Double post. Just whatever you do, don't get a sack. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. <laughs> Another try after the first down sack. Fields. To the end zone, but it's in. Bro, the wrong guy now fucking caught that. Because as soon as he got outside, oh, my, why did Komet catch that? Run for yardage. I don't understand. What are you doing? Commit. You fucked me there. He he went he moved in front of fucking Mooney so he could catch that and he fucked that entire play. Stupid ass commit. That would have been a touchdown if I would have went to fucking Mooney and not commit. Oh my god. Idiots. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Now I need you on this one, Komet. Fields now to throw. They'll roll him out right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back to back incomplete. Oh. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time, I guess I don't know what the hell happened there, but. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. That's good. Yep. Six three. We should have had a touchdown. Fucking Cole Komet fucked me though. These two teams currently going over their final halftime adjustments. We are just about so stupid in the second half. And for the call, let's go back to Soldier Field and Brandon. At least we get the ball though. Six to three. What a boring game. And he doesn't know how to kick. HB stretch. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Oh my god. Come on. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Flood. Now it's Fields. He'll buy some time right. Robinson's got it. Oh my. There he goes, right side. What a play, Allen Robinson. Short, he can take it long, or he can do what we just saw right there catch it and then run with the football. Yeah, and that was sheer determination right there. He decided before the play if there was a sliver, he was going to take advantage. Allen motherfucking Robinson and took it all the way. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. Bang. And he's 10 6. is now 10 6.
I like that song. I want them to do the Lions one. No. Marching down the field. Something, 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 something. Going down the field. Something, something, something. For a Lions victory. Goal, Lions. Cover team in. Okay, Eddie, Eddie. How? I don't know what you all have to fucking do there. He broke like five tackles. Well, Derrick Henry, the league's leading rusher in 2019. Like, what do you want me to do there? Look, look at this, look at this. One. And what was impressive to me is not just how much he wanted it, but how he fashioned it. I mean, he was shedding tackles left and right, evading tacklers left and right. Cover three hard flat. He's going for two. That's such a garbage ass play. Oh my god! Why did I fucking kill him? A lion victory! Gay. Fucking hell. Strong stretch. Starting field position for him as they come up first and ten at the forty. Uh, wouldn't it make more sense to run this side? Now Montgomery running right. And he'll push this forward only to about the forty two yard line. The tackle by Janoris Jenkins. MTN inside cross. Space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try to <gasps> lose someone at the second level. And now we'll hook up downfield on second down. Good job, Cole Command. Finally out of bounds, just showing the final all the way down at the six. Jet sweep. Try the jet sweep. Hell. Inside cross. Oh. How did he not catch that? and get comfortable and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL ordinarily you're trying to post wheel hit. drag in this case they brought the heat and if he flushes out they're fine with that and they force another incompletion now fields on third and goal escaping the pressure right and that's knocked away he jumped in front of the fucking ball they really had a good drive going there but a nice recovery by the uh. defense few downs able to knock that one away on third like down right there to bring up what i think for the offense an unexpected fourth down here santos oh, kick flag. is up and through <gasps> yes sir now it's on the defense they might decline it and take the points double slants I'll take the first and goal. Thank you. So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Fields. Sliding out of the pocket. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, okay, cool. Amazing. Charles to stay in the pocket on every play, cool. but I guess that's the danger of getting outside of the pocket. I'm so happy I took that penalty. Six points the other way. Yeah, sometimes when you get outside the pocket, your your vision actually gets obscured too much, 
pretend you don't see all the defenders in the area. Cover four drop ship too. Fucking so stupid. I'm not fucking okay with that shit. So fucking stupid. Of course. Of course. I kick a field goal. There's a penalty. I take the penalty. And then I fucking throw a pick six. Oh, look at that. He gets the two as well. Yeah, I'm down 12. This is fucking terrific. So fucking stupid. Shouldn't even fucking happen. Slot post. Robinson, you're getting a tutty here. I don't give a fuck. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and ten at the forty. A shotgun. Fucking angry. He's gonna fire one. Oh, not even close. Oh, actually, he actually moved a defender. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to. Go shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear it. PA scissors. I want to hit Mooney here, but I don't think he'll be open. Touchdown. First and goal. Sure. Doesn't matter what the one either way. Power row. for guys rushing the passer, but you have to know when the ball is gone. And if you listen, officials will tell you ball's gone. He didn't pull up. How? 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 Tell me how. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Tell me how this isn't a touchdown, okay? End of the third quarter. Can you just get into the end zone? I don't understand how you're not getting into the end zone. Look at that. I hate this fucking game. 
Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. They'll try and choose some clock with Henry, and he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards, second down coming up. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Now Tennessee going to use so the cute. second Thank of you. their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining. Thank you. You're so cute. Fourth quarter. A first down carry for oh, Henry. oh. Aren't you just fucking terrific? Give a fuck on this game. You're a cunt. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips. They're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. And we've got them now. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. Cover three, Clyde. And it's going to bring up a third down. The Titans on third down. Two for five to this point. Here it's third and three. Man, oh, wow, here shocking. Is Jones. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit, because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. On fourth down, Tannehill. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Bears will get the football back. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And this offense, last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Now a good job shifting right, finding his target. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. To throw his fields. The screen pass here to Cohen. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Three yards the gain there, second down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to route. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. 
So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. Open man is Komet, the tight end. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Now a first down throw, Fields. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Again, Fields. He'll buy some time right. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, this defense has been physical all game long, and it certainly looks like they're not going to back off and make things any easier. They want to keep making life miserable for the receivers all the way to the end. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. One play action, Fields. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Out of the gun, Fields, flushed out right. Now he's got it. That pass play good for seven, but it still brings up a fourth and goal. They snap it to Fields, sliding out of the pocket. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And that's... Maybe I am playing the fucking Bills. Oh my god. Here we go. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Bill Stadium in upstate New York. A few moments ago, to the delight of this Buffalo crowd, it was the Bills racing out of the tunnel as they get set to match up with the Chicago Bears. And we are underway in Buffalo. <laughs> and he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Okay, come on, cover the clown. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Pressure and he's taken down. A bear sack. Robert Quinn credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Oh. And that is incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the sad. game. They've got to be effective on passing down. Oh, it's one of the few things too. defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. 
So they're going for it, and here's Allen. Flush to his right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. He's got a man complete. A big game there for the Bears. Everybody does that to me. Everybody. Every team, man. They always convert on four. And there's an example oh my this god, it's so annoying. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that Cover run. Six. Straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, the end of all that hit in. Power, and it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. I think he's a little trigger happy right there. And it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Throwing his Allen on third. Oh, and he's got his man here, Beasley. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to Cover the three. Man. A big game there for the Bills. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. Is it, is it a terrific opening drive? Or? They'll look to run with Singletary. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Second and goal from the six this time. Uh, Again, it'll be Singletary. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. It'll go as no gain on the play. And now they're looking at a third and goal. And this will be play number 10 on this pretty long opening drive. Here's third and goal. Get him. Quickly here, and that's complete. A gain of five, but not enough. Leads to a fourth and goal. Allen going to throw. Nope. And he's brought down. Let's go. Can't do anything with a football. Let's go. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And on the opening drive of the ball game, the defense comes up with a goal line stand. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackle for a two-yard loss in the backfield. Well, the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now it's Fields. <laughs> Ball. It's going to be the final quarter. Of this first quarter. We're scoreless after one. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Now a give running right is Montgomery. And not much there oh, as he gets cute. it up okay. to about the cool. five yards. So we did absolutely nothing with that, but you know, cool, cool. I just I just love this game, bro. Here's Pat O'Donnell down. And watch this and get no blocked. For air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out of there, and this is a pretty good kick. And they'll go ahead and down this one right on the chalk of the 20-yard line. Cover through cloud. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. Oh, so cute. we'll see what they can do here. They just give up. Or... It's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to sit there and capture five. that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a, a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Throwing again on second down. Allen, and this one caught by Beasley. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Cover Never make the time. mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs. Oh, as we just fucking God. Third 
first down and more for Allen. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. I hate this guy. Third and short, not only did he get away from the rush and pick up a first down, he picked up a whole lot more than that. And how did he get it done? Evaded the rush, kept his poise, and then how about him directing traffic as he moved downfield to pick up extra blockers? A really nice run. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. On second and 11 now. Allen eluding the pressure right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back yeah. deep over the middle. Back this way. And he is all the way up past the 25. Good morning. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. HP subscribe. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. From the gun, here's Fields. Rolling to his right. And he just drops it. To the ground cool. incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively. And angle. now it brings up third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Back to throw. Fields. I hate this game already. I can't. I don't even have fucking time. That was Jordan Poyer, the safety in for the sack. Shut up. I don't think that was a blitz, was it? No, not at all. I mean, there was no blitz called on the play. Had other responsibilities, oh, but he cool. saw an opportunity, saw a path, and he took it. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. Allen's throw here pulled in by Beasley. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Rolling to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Yeah. Deep left side. And he will bring this all the way back out to midfield. That had disaster written all over. You've got a right-handed quarterback, a rolling left, and throwing it pretty far downfield. It's really difficult to do, to try and get your body twisted around into the proper position and get anything on the ball as you heave it downfield. And that's what it actually turns into, a heave. And that's not really a good throw, is it? Not good, and we saw the result. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Peace.